Junakanya, our analyst. Um, yeah, we were thinking 10 10 to Malisela, Nini, Sabono Pizzo, Evaya, Egypt, and we were like, okay, maybe that's an opportunity for Ipares, but Serangena, uh, Uchoze, not Mourinho. How can you sign players without the coach figure? <laughs> Up the box. This is a good point. Clearly, it seems as though at Orlando Pirates, the coach doesn't have much say on the players that come in, which is strange. Then again, how do we expect this new Spanish guy to sign players if he doesn't know South African players in the first place? Ah, this whole thing is confusing. I want to mean uh, previously, mm. and even if we can be honest, second team to have most of good players. Mm -hmm. Uh, just the squad best for no trima after my middle sundowns, it was all under par. It was all under par. Uh, letting go, um, dambo. I couldn't understand why. Uh, <coughs> for what? Being a good one, Capaltino Mango let him go. Well, Dumbo was given a chance at Pirates and proved not to be good enough. The guy has more dance videos on TikTok than appearances for Bucks. Zungu is very talented but had off the pitch issues. Maybe the Mahango one you have a case, but as talented as he is, Kevin Hunt wasn't playing him much when he was at Vitz before he came to Paris. So clearly, he is the common denominator here. Manje, you brought another coach, a coach that is not familiar with South African foot players, a style, a styling style. I don't think that's that big of an issue. The last coach to win the league at Orlando Pirates, Root Kroll, had never coached in SA before. He's supposed to bring a South African coach who had beat Tom Simang, most of the success, one of the best successful coach. A very, very dedicated, ambitious. The guy is really, he wants to win. Bring pizza clean in their technical team. Some things are easier said than done. Pizza, I'm sure, costs a boat lot of money as far as wages are concerned. And why would he want to coach the mess that is Orlando Pirates anyway? This is a team where you get all the criticism but none of the credit. Well, Mkambi is recommended by someone, but why going outside? You want to make money go for South African coaches, especially Pirates and Kaza Chiefs and Towns. They needed South African uh, coaches. Other than Gordon Egerson, Gavin Hunt, Peter Musimani, and those three guys at Sundowns right now, can Junior please tell me how many South African coaches have won the PSL since 1997? It's fine. I've got Google, so I did the research for him. Zero! Okay, I need to ask you the last one then. Um, it is about the coaching and the technical team. Nesanda Semfe and Orlando Pirates. We know what happened to Zinpawa. Uh, a lot of our former players as Espazio Manje, they tell us what happened what used to happen, Gubo Kroll, Gubo Papich and Nan Nani, Gune Sandla Semfen, and the Nam This coaching hand that is coaching coaches. I what do you think is gonna happen with that dynamic? You think but but choose a coach that they think they can control uh above Prasten. Well at Orlando Paris will never last. Uh, three, three years sharp. Whoever was there uh Gule Sandra Semfen Kulmangas they will never leave those people. Uh, Pirates, it's like Kikaya. We need to be honest. And the coach, like it or not, if Kunama results on a Sambi Gatli, he's going to be told what to do. Uh, Kunama player, I don't think he coach. Kunama player, examine what that is. This is one of the reasons Orlando Pirates cannot have sustained success. Too many cooks in the kitchen. No matter how great this coach is, he is going into a situation where he literally and figuratively can't win <gasps> good luck anyway that's it for me cheese if you liked the content um like the video and for more sports content like this please subscribe to the channel see you my disciples later